I set myself up for a fall in Spain. Uh, it's been suggested already, but let's put this in perspective. We already have enough money coming in to actually meet our financial needs for eating, rent and everything else. We just need to sort of double it for the requirements relating to the immigration. So the answer is no. Um, what, I, what I will say though is if you've spent time in the Philippines and used to finding a, a solution, you'll find it easy to find solutions and make money uh, purely because it's within your nature. I've discussed on the video prior to this one, TESOL, which is the teaching English to the foreign student. There is a safety net there. Um, this will take me about 120 hours to qualify, but at the same time I could actually start taking students next week, but I'd rather concentrate on getting the certificate done and then get on with doing it properly. That has an entire range of things available to it. First thing is all the structure and learning I do, I can duplicate for April. April could then start teaching English. There's whole opportunities here. Um, and that's generally what you do if you set yourself up for finding a solution instead of looking for the problems. You just turn around and go, okay, well we want to do this, how do we do it? Um, the stuff with the wholesale stuff is still going ahead, it's just slow. So I don't rely on it, but it's still there. It will eventually turn into something worthwhile. Developing stuff with businesses locally is also ongoing. Yesterday, I spent a bit of time with an Indian restaurant. I set up their uh, website links. I set up their Google ads. I set up their um, setup online. Did it all completely free. Um, I never asked them for money. Why would I do that? Because the network's more important. They, they've come from Toyveja, which is a bigger area. Networking with people initially is more important than money because once you get into other people's networks, you start expanding things out as people start to be aware of what you can do for them. Instead of you going and saying, oh, can I do this for you? People start asking you, can you do this for me? Which is where you start making your money. It could be simple things like translating uh, from one language to another, which a friend currently does, does for a radio station. That brings in, about, I think, about 600 euros a month. So simple things appear with the expansive network. This is why I spend more time networking than anything else, because it's the most important factor. I know somebody is processing um, old tyres into power. With that, I also have somebody come out of the Europe from Europe, uh, sorry, out of the UK into Europe, that is currently in the process of setting up recycling plants. Putting those two people in touch with each other is important um, because it can benefit each other. Those are the key elements of developing a network. So it's not a case of setting myself up for a fall, it's more a case of I'm analysing what I've got available. It doesn't happen overnight. You can't do this from the UK. You've got to be here because you've got to see what's going on, who's doing what and where. Being here, I can already see the biggest headache is the paperwork and local government processing because every business I talk to, it seems to be where they have hiccups. So from that point of view, I need to look at, okay, what can we do about it? Is there a good legal team? Is there a way to get things done smoothly? Because there's always a solution, you've just got to find it. So no, I'm not setting myself up for a fall. In fact, this month we're actually increased our money slightly. Um, we've actually got more coming in than going out. Um, I'm still expecting to spend a bit on the van. I've taken the middle seats out of it now, ready for camping. But with the kids being sick, we've sort of missed the boat this for the Easter holidays. But I think we'll be taking a weekend away soon. But getting the Tesla stuff done will secure the revenue for this year, uh, without a doubt. And I, when I say revenue, you've got to bear in mind, my apartments are fully booked in, in the Philippines. We actually turned somebody away yesterday because we had no spare apartments. I've got an extra person arriving soon to the point I've had to prepare a, a room that wasn't actually going to be used. Um, so we're getting quite busy there. If that continues to grow, I want to buy another lot behind the one where our apartments currently are. All that money 
does not come from Spain. All that money does not come from Europe. That money is generated online and to the Philippines directly. That is not part of our income um, for Spain. The UK still got some income generating in there. That doesn't come to Spain. It doesn't come to the Philippines. It is for stuff within the UK, which currently is investments. I just reinvest money every month. That's growing at a rate of just over £100 a month, which isn't big money, but at the same time, because you're not touching it, it's just continually growing. So that's all I can say on that at the moment. But anyway, thanks for watching.